I think we're good. Just make sure we're actually streaming something and not just gray blends. And hope that the audio survives because it was glitching out on me before. It hasn't. Get another try at this. Don't, don't fucking do this to me. Oh god. You get another try at this. All right. All right. Let's see what we can do. Tarzan, Disney's Tarzan, as it were. Uh. Ba -ba -ba. We have stuff to go with this. I've got the box box. I've got the box and manual for this. And, it doesn't seem like it would be, but it's on the cover of the February 2000 uh, issue of Nintendo Power, so that's cool. Uh, it's a pretty good amount of info in there from from that issue of Nintendo Power. But let's just get right into it. Um, I want to get through one, maybe two, maybe three, let's shoot for two levels of this uh, and survive and get some footage and some commentary and whatnot. Uh, I looked at the controls, I looked at the options, I looked at the difficulty levels, and I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now. Let's see, yeah, that's on. That's just this, they're just really real jagged. Uh, so Tarzan is a 2D platformer that is entirely in 3D with 3D models and stuff like that. So we're on a 2D plane, um, but we only have uh, we have nothing but like 3D models and stuff to work with here. So bananas are sure good eating. If you're losing health, find some bananas for energy. Okay. So we're gonna start off obviously very much a tutorial level here. Where they're gonna tell us mechanics and stuff. So bananas are health. We can figure that out. We got coins uh, with a big T on one side and a handprint on the other. Uh, we've got some bam. Oh, that was just an orange fruit. That's not one of the actual like colors of fruit that we get to use as items so. though. But we do get to oh yeah. Oh, fuck. So, the primary, it's very uh, Aladdin on the Super Nintendo Wii, where the primary method of combat, it's weird, they're, they look like they're almost the same height, depending on where you get to. I'm really trying here, I swear. Uh, but you get like a high throw and a low throw. That's a, oh, that's a whole like, that's a Jaguar cup. <laughs> Seems very dangerous. Uh, okay, now well, Turk's coming back to tell us something else. What's up? Let's check one. Okay, cool. Thank you, Turk. That is a pangolin. Interesting. So you can Z to pound the, pound the ground like that. Pangolin only gonna take two hits. Oh, I could have jumped on the pangolin to go up there, but I, nope. Actually, I can just go up, go up here anyway, though. Never mind. Boom. Uh, yeah. What else? He has to run all the way in from the background. That's funny to me. Because, like, he literally is, like, running back and forth. Oh, he's already at the next one. Jesus Christ. Okay, let me get over there. So. So 
So, how do I... How do I stay, though? How do I stay on the branch? B. Okay. Or, no. I just jump. And then, because I'm holding it... Oh, okay. Because I'm holding it, it thinks I want to let go. Because I'm technically pressing it again. I'm not, though. Alright. Oh, uh, and then we get a new kind of fruit. So we get a fancier version of the fruit. We can sw switch that with the R button. And that one explodes. Very dangerous. There's a lemur. Or no, that looks just more like a regular monkey. That's a lemur over there. And we get another... Another butterfly. So I think until uh, there's another mechanic where we can get, like, a knife, because we learned to use tools, um, there's another thing where, like, when we get the knife in a level, we can start, like, stabbing people with it, but I don't. Yeah. Uh, I can start, like, stabbing or swiping at people like that, so. So we'll see what that's like when we get there. Uh, I'm replenish a little bit more health. get up here with the incredible way that he can change direction in midair because this is a platformer. <laughs> and what what does that do though? Right. Tell me what that does. That thing looks angry. Yeah, I've been throwing fruit. Okay. There's a low there's a low throw and a high throw and they both look really similar. Like it's very I can tell that like Tarzan is throwing them from a different angle, but like the trajectory is so similar on them. If I jump on you no, okay. No, don't do that. What if I do this? No. He doesn't even pay attention to me. Blah. Oh, okay, I see that. That's very helpful. It actually is extending the the health bar on altogether. That's don't be a dick. That was very unnecessary, very rude. Whoa, Tarzan! Look at all that cool stuff up in this tree. Try climbing up. You should have no problem. Okay. I even find that calling the the baboons mean and like picking fights with them is a little bit unnecessary. And, okay, that's a knife. <laughs> the small child has a knife now. Good for us. And so that's... Yeah, the top and right C buttons. Again, it's like, I don't know what the, the big difference is between the two, the two actions there. It's like they wanted to fill up the controller. They really didn't have to, though. And now I'm being, like, super mean, because I'm just going up and stabbing the other animals. There's one thing when I was, like, throwing fruit at them to kind of deter them, but, like, now I'm literally stabbing them. It's just a commentary on how everything for humanity went downhill when we discovered how to use tools. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's good. This also does have a live system, apparently. I start out with three. Your classic 2D platform and number of lives. Ooh, I get 100. Oh, fuck you. Ran right into his ass. That's not really his fault, is it? Stuff at them? Can I not really do anything to hit them like that? Alright. Tarzan, where got a Z? Stop fucking. 
He doesn't really seem that mean, he's just standing there. I feel like the mean one. Oh, I can bounce. Bouncy bounce on the uh, gazelle. And he didn't even hurt me if I touch him from the front. That's good. I want all them coins, though, son. Move into position, sir. I'm using you to acquire wealth, like humans do. Yes, I know, animal, you were just standing there minding your own business, but there's money to be made. Oh, he's throwing- oh, now you're throwing stuff at me. He seems like the actual mean one in this situation. Like, once again, the baboons have actually literally done nothing to me. They just kind of stand there and look angry. But they're probably angry because they know some little kid is about to come around and just, like, throw shit at them. Alright, we got the whole sketch. I mean, it's the first level, it seems easy enough, and that's the end of the level. Good. So we got Tarzan, we got the sketches, we got all the coins. This is going to get much harder later on, and I don't think that I should be expected to keep that same level. We got a whole, almost a whole controller pack, plus one of those files is Brunswick Bowling, which does not need to be on the controller pack anymore. Uh, we should have a bonus level coming up, though. Is it, a uh, surfing? No! Oh, it's in the... I'm gonna swim on this little... Leaf raft. Coins. We got a chance to earn an extra life. No, no! Okay, cool. Oh, and I gotta keep picking up. Oh, is the fruit is for extra time? Okay. Can this level theoretically be eternal? No, they'll stop giving you stuff, I assume. Oh, we got enough for another life! Oh, and they didn't let me get that one piece of fruit there. Oh, and there's just an end. There's just a fine. I hit end to it as well. Hooray! Okay, one more level. We're off to a good start here. We had Welcome to the Jungle and the next one is Going Ape. I have this feeling that, like, aside from just general references to the movie, like, I, I know that there's a level called Trashing the Camp. I definitely feel like someone just has a big book, uh, someone in the Eurocom offices just had, like, a big book of, like, what are the most commonly used, uh, monkey puns or jungle puns or just general, like, references. Okay, I guess I'm not getting that. There's a lot of leaps of faith starting with this one, I think. It's something I actually do, oddly enough, remember people saying about this, is that, like, it's not the not the most balanced platformer. Oh, okay. Swinging on vines. Apparently not that one. Can I go up? because you don't have to be right next to them to hit them with the fruit like you do with the knife. Ah! 
Ah, see, that's a little bit of a perspective change here. Oh yeah, we're going up and down and around and everything. It's starting to get funky with it. But it is, it is still a 2D platformer. There is still just a one singular plane that we're on. Ooh. so well there. You've seen me like, looking back down at the computer. It's, I, I am keeping a close eye on this. No, the frogs! They're poisonous, I guess, because that's the only reasonable explanation for them killing me. Oh, but there's a butterfly there. 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 Butterfly. Butterfly there. 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 seeing if closing things will will help if we're like just running if we're just running Elgato I'm dead now. We gotta wrap this up. Okay, like, I seem incapable of, like, hitting those things either with fruit or with a knife. Like, does that seem, that seem, that seem... That That seemed, that seemed, that seemed, that seemed, that seemed... Yeah, we gotta wrap this up. I, uh, I might just turn the audio off to finish the level. I don't want to have to. But this is what my life is like! You want to go back there? Get that stuff up there. Oh, that bird's nest is bouncy for some reason. It's, like I'll accept it with the flowers because many video games do that. The bird's nest is just a little funny to me. Bandicoot sounds. Whoa! Those those iframes don't last long, huh? Let's just get to the end here. No, nah, nothing there.
The attack animations, there is a bit of delay on those, for sure. It makes it makes the combat probably one of the, the weakest and most frustrating parts of the game. I mean, I guess if I'm not really getting out of anything out of that, like they're not the enemies aren't there for completionists or anything like that. Yes, I think I can. No? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, I'm breaking. I get to break that. Cool. Oh, I have to go back. Go back to where? Like that, yeah, that just doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem like you can hit them, you just have to avoid them. Which is really lame, like when you have to stand here and you have to do that animation, and that animation isn't that fast and doesn't even, oh, okay, I go up here, and doesn't even, like, initiate immediately after you press the button, so that's, it's a little, it's a little rough on that. As I said, the iframes, like, oh, hey, we got the vine surfing part now. This is, uh, oh my fucking god. I'm gonna be super dead. Oh yeah, I, I also have to. I keep taking my eyes off to look at the to look at the screen, but but like still. This is some Battletoad stuff right there. That reaction time is, is not much. Alright, end of the level. Uh, hopefully, next time I do this, it'll be a little bit smoother. Uh, we'll come back for more Tarzan. We'll see some adult Tarzan. Um, and we'll get a little bit more level variety, maybe, because I know that there's like chase sequences and stuff. Um, there's all sorts. Uh, it's just, it's a decent little platformer. It's not perfect by a long shot, but I, I do think it's enjoyable. And uh, I know a lot of people have a lot of nostalgia for it. More on the PS1, I think. But um, regardless, I do, I do, I get it. I definitely see the appeal here. I'm going to be a Toy Story person, but that's also a lot more to do with nostalgia for Toy Story that I don't really have for Tarzan. Um, and that also goes for the movies, too. Uh, but yeah, so I hope this was a at least bearable stream if you're watching this. Because um, that audio shit I'm still watching right now, that sucks. Sometimes it works out. Some it's it, it literal roll rolling the dice every single time I do this. It feels like, but I don't know how to really fix it. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>